So here today we have a pearl guitar with a broken headstock. Uh, first of all we need to strip everything off this and uh, then we need the, to start the process of gluing it back together. Now these guitars have a, a plastic type um, material on the front of the headstock which you can see in this picture from the back here. And this is a better picture from the front. So we've put uh, some glue on both surfaces. It's uh, type 1 glue that we're using here. And once we have good coverage with the glue, then we will pop it back together again and uh, put it under clamp for about 24 hours. So here we have the clamps. Now I'm just using a plastic bag on the front here just so that it doesn't, um, some clamps don't actually stick to the headstock. So what it looks like once it's actually glued up, you can see we're missing a fair bit of material on the front. And this material is replaced using epoxy just an epoxy glue mixed up. Um, it was a clear epoxy and then it was sanded smooth just so that it would, uh, would cover. There was also two pins just uh, popped into the base there, either side of the truss rod. You can see, just coming into picture now, uh, two little pieces just either side. They were just small dowels that were put through, basically to add some extra strength. Then we undercoated and this gives you an idea of what the back actually looked like. So we weren't really missing that much timber, just a little bit that was filled with a little bit of wood filler down on the, the neck there. Then we came back through and we used a little bit of tint. There's another photo there. We just used a little bit of tint to uh, try and disguise some of the filler mainly. We're gonna come back and spray this as well. So once it was uh, once the front was actually done, we, we sprayed the front with uh, black acrylic and that was sanded back using um, an 800 grit and then aggressively a 1200 right through to a 3000 grit. Now we didn't actually uh, put a lacquer coat over the top of this, it was just basically rubbed back. The reason I didn't put a lacquer coat, I didn't want it ov overly shiny, there is a very faint line that you can see and uh, if it was too shiny then you know, it would stand out more and plus this is a 20 year old guitar. This is a before and after photos once we've gone back through and we've uh, applied a lacquer coat, a tinted lacquer coat. We first of all started with an amber coat, an amber tint and then we applied the tint with uh, a little bit of um, tobacco. So this is the guitar once it's back together again. Uh, it's come up really well actually. Now this guitar is from the 1980s. So um, that, that headstock not being too, too shiny matches in quite well. Doesn't stand out like a sore thumb, which probably would if we went ultra shiny. Uh, just giving you an idea what it looks like from the side. Uh, very little damage done, just a tiny little bit to the binding there. The back's come up really well. That burst has been blended in. We also put a little bit of burst on the top there just to blend it in, but you can see on the side, so that tobacco burst has, has blended in really well. And uh, that's pretty much the, the end of it. So uh, gives you an idea that you can actually do almost anything as far as repairs. Not a very hard repair, but just takes a lot of time to actually get to the result that, um, that the customer and, and you are happy with. So until